On the same day that a former Portsmouth police officer was found not guilty in one death, he's been charged in another. Our Michelle Wolf has the latest on the two cases. Regina and Stephanie, today a jury found Vincent McLean not guilty of voluntary manslaughter in connection to a May 2018 officer involved shooting. Now our investigative team has learned exclusively that he's facing the same charge in another case, this time connected to the death of a pregnant woman. Today a grand jury indicted McLean on a charge of voluntary manslaughter in connection to the in custody death of Carmita Van Gilder in December 2018. Her family called her Carly, and at just 28 years old, she died in a Portsmouth holding cell. She'd been arrested hours before her death on an outstanding warrant for failure to appear in court. She threw up, asked for water, and told officers she felt sick, but no one called 911. Medics pronounced her dead in the jail. An autopsy showed she died of a heart condition due to drug use. All of those details are according to court records in a wrongful death lawsuit filed by Carly's parents, Joe and Michelle Van Gilder. Portsmouth settled that case in 2021 for $550,000, but didn't admit any fault. We spoke with Michelle and Joe after the settlement was awarded. If they had taken her to the hospital and she had passed, we can accept that. But to not provide that for based on the symptoms she was exhibiting over that time, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow. I'll have more on Carly's story coming up at 5. Right now, my colleague Raven Payne is live in Portsmouth with more on the charge McLean was acquitted of today. Yes, well, 14 minutes, that's all the time it took for a jury to say Vincent McLean is not guilty. Vincent faced a manslaughter charge in connection to the death of Willie Marball back in 2018. Back in May of that year, Portsmouth police responded to a home invasion. After arriving, they saw two armed suspects, one of which was Willie Marable. An officer shot Marable three times after he didn't put his weapon down. Vincent McLean didn't fire his weapon, but was indicted on manslaughter charges because he didn't provide CPR or any other medical treatment. Today, two medical experts took the stand in court, saying in that situation, CPR shouldn't be used and wouldn't be helpful. The defense tells me the jury started deliberations at 1 p.m. today and had their decision by 1.14. Defense attorney Michael Massey tells me what that shows. It confirmed exactly what we were thinking, that there was no evidence to, to go forward. And 12 people saw it in 14 minutes, and that tells you the type of evidence that was presented to them and the lack of evidence that was presented to them. I'm just glad it's over. And coming up at 5, Marball's family friend tells me the fight for justice isn't over.